What do you think your number one rule is? Uh, if, if you tell, yeah, your number one, like most com commonly cited rule for new students. Number one rule, Yeah. don't turn your back. Spoon. You really say that? Yes. Don't expose your back or don't turn your back? Don't turn your back. It's a good rule. It's generally a good rule. Why? Because you should never run from a fight. <laughs> <laughs> you should always face it. What I tell the kids is you have to face your problems. Yeah. Uh, but I but think sometimes you have to run away from your problems. No, no, no. So this is a general rule. General rule. This is a general rule. Right, rules, rules are made to be broken, uh, right? Uh, made to be understood. Understood and then, and and then used to your advantage <laughs> and then gained until it, until it can't be gained anymore. Uh, no, the, 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 the rule is that you don't turn your back because you can't really defend yourself. You're exposing your neck. You can't defend yourself. You can't see. Uh, and in a lot of jiu-jitsu, the whole, one of the primary objectives of jiu-jitsu is to take the back. To, yeah. You know, this was one of the first rules you learned. Yeah. And, and then the other kind of uh, corollary was uh, allow your training partner to roll. Like if they are deciding to go to their stomach yeah. and turn their back to you, don't stop. Like by all means, yeah. never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. Yeah. So that's like that was a, uh, Sun, Tzu. Sun Tzu or yeah. something made uh, said that. <laughs> I think it was Sun Tzu, but yeah. I, I think that's uh, that's America. That is, I mean, it's it was was three thousand years ago. I think it's as true then as it. True today is it true? Is it true then? Yeah. Um, keep your head above their show. Like when you're shooting, you know, keeping your head out of the. I call it the sad place. <laughs> it's, you know, there's. I stole this from Keenan Cornelius. Talk about sort of the danger zones mm -hmm. uh, that where you don't want to put things, right? Like you don't want to put your head and arm. Like here's the danger. Like here, this is danger zone. If you, yeah, if you're, if you're gonna put your head and arm in here, you know, you're gonna get. Guillotine, you're gonna get triangled, you're gonna get darsed, all these bad things. And same thing here, this is this is a danger zone. So inside the legs, inside here. Everything else is free and open. Like you don't have to worry. Like if you're outside, if you're on this outside, mm -hmm. there's nothing immediately that you're worried about. Like, never reach back. Oh, that's a good one. Um, but this is the exception, right? If I can reach back and gather your head and right. escape my hips out, then you know, I can get on that guillotine real quick. And a lot of people tend to you know, make, uh, you know, go into that space willingly. The one I was uh, thinking about was uh, when you're in that truck uh, turtle position, like, uh, oh, so we're, yeah. we're here. Kind of likes to do this for some reason. What's that? She's like trying to grab your head or something. Yeah, this is it, terrible. What are Don't ever do that. Uh, yeah, you, you, there's nothing back there for you, really. Um, just just uh, pain and suffering. Yeah. A lot of uh, sore shoulder. A lot, yeah, sore shoulders. But if, 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 if you're able to swing your hips out to the side and get them, like, you, you need to get on, on the side of your uh, body to be able to get over here. Yeah. Right? But that's going to be a big movement, and you're going to have to commit to it. Right, because what uh, what I don't want to do is grab them here and then now I'm pulling them down here. Into the cross right? So, you know, when I reach, I can't just grab his head. I need to grab his head and I get my hips out or put them where I can yeah. keep control over them. Yeah. So we used to do like drills where we would practice throwing our hips out and, um, yeah. But you're not, but in that case, you're not just reaching behind. It's you're, not a, you're not, a, it's not a just kind of, I'm just gonna throw my arm behind me. It's, you're actually turning, like you said, you're turning your hips. So you're, you're actually kind of sitting out in a way, as opposed to just reaching. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're, you're moving your body to, to match your arm, not just like hoping something will, will connect. <laughs> you're reaching back there for. Right? It's yeah. not good. Uh, no, that's, I mean, I think that's, there's a difference, there's a distinction between those two things yeah. that people often miss, you know? And you might see, right, if you're watching, like if you watch somebody do that, you might mistake the two movements. You might think, oh, that person is just reaching, because you're not noticing how they're turning their body as they're reaching. Yeah. 
And so it's, it's those are two totally different things. Well, I mean, I feel like the eye immediately is drawn to that big arm movement, and then yes. it makes the connection, and you just unless you're looking for it. I think on your on the bottom, I, I often hear people say, "Stay on your side." I tell people often to stay on their sides. I don't know if I'd say always stay on your side or never be on your back, but. Being on your side allows you to move your hips laterally across the floor. Mm -hmm. um, you, can't, you can't shrink unless you're on your side. That's true. Oh. You have to bridge here. Bridging is, bridging is cool, but you don't move relative to the floor. I'm not gonna be well, you do. You raise your hips up off the floor. But then they go back down. Not only if, only if you've messed up. Oh, are you talking about like doing a full bridge over into turtle? Well, there's no point. I mean, I don't know if there's any. Well, there are. There is a point to like a little half bridge if you're trying to work your hip escape. I call that a bump. Well, it's a bridge. Yeah. You're bridging. Always maintain good posture. Good posture. That's a good one. I can't think of a time though when it's good to let someone bend you up. Well, to roll, you have to bend. Yeah, I can't do a forward roll if I don't bend. Yeah, uh, that could bring us into the principle of roundness. Oh, I okay. really like this one. What is the principle of um, roundness? To be able to move efficiently across the mat, you want to roll across the mat, mm. right? It's the most, it's the easiest way to move, right? If, if I'm able to roll across as opposed to like being flat. Uh -huh. right? I'm trying, to, right, right, trying, trying to, to move here, right? It's not gonna yes. happen, but if I, rule I can um, move. So when I'm doing things like trying to sweep, what I want mm. is I want to keep into a little ball. That way I'm able to do things like you know pivot or scoop my hips underneath you. You're creating that by bending at your waist. You're not you're you're not doing that usually. You're not you're not bending your But your like hand. usually I'm like up on my hip here, right? I don't want to be but here because that's not gonna be Good for my mobility. If I can kind of find one centralized point to be able to rotate and pivot on, or I like to do this while I'm in uh, the open guard here. Just being able to never stop moving. Mm -hmm. and, um, never stop, never stop. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one.